Hello again. In this video, I'm going to be talking about associative learning, specifically with um, the understanding of how it uh, implicates uh, aplasia. So the idea of associative learning is pairing two stimuli, one that is um, aversive versus one that isn't that bad. But the, the understanding is when you pair these two stimuli, the um, non-aversive one becomes aversive because you paired it with an aversive stimuli. So in looking at the aversive sim stimuli and how it um, implicates the molecular level, we can see it's a very similar process to sensitization. So if there's an electrical um, stimulation, the tail shock, for instance, we have sensitization occurring. So there's a release of serotonin, which activates a G protein um, receptor. This will uh, be a very similar mechanism to what I've explained previously, where adenyl phenylcyclase is activated. Um, CAMP production will increase, and that will lead to uh, activation of PKA, and that will phosphorylate K plus channels, which lead to a closure and depolarization, leading to um, more uh, neurotransmitter release and more uh, release of vesicles. So that's the sensitization molecular mechanism. Now, this acts as a in a facilitating interneuron, and this can act on the um, sensory neuron um, of the uh, uh, siphon or mantle, whatever is being touched, and that overall implicates the um, interaction between the sensory neuron and the motor neuron. So now looking at the associative learning aspect. So before training, we have this. Firstly, we we pair the um, the shock, which is the unconditioned stimuli. Um, of the tail, which leads to the facilitating neuron, interneuron, um, releasing the serotonin. But that comes after the um, initial condition stimuli of the touch. And what the touch does, essentially, is it just has, um, it's a very similar G-protein complex, complex that occurs, except calmodulin will, um, uh, will uh, be activated by the CA coming in, and this will lead to a small increase in CAMP. But now with the pairing of that with the serotonin, there's going to be a large increase in the overall CAMP production. And this large increase will be recognized by the um, aplasia, and that will lead to the learning. So when this happens, overall, after time, the siphon touch will be associated with the electrical stimuli of the tail shock. And this could lead to a strong gill withdrawal or a strong um, withdrawal with even the slightest touch that isn't an aversive stimuli. So this allows for the actual um, aplasia to learn that a non-aversive touch of the tail or mantle or whatever paired with that or not even paired with that um, shock over time will lead to an aversive response. It's very interesting to see this as... Um, you know, sensi with sensitiza sensitization, sensitization is generalized, but this associative learning is specific as you need these two actions to occur. So this just shows how associative learning can be learned in um, an animal such as an aplasia. Thank you.